Now let's look at integer addition problem type 2. As usual, problem types 2's are a little bit more challenging than problem type 1. So using a number line for these would be really cumbersome because these are relatively large numbers. So what do we do? Let's look at the first example. Negative 28 plus a negative 36. First of all, pay attention to the sign, as always, and notice that we're adding two negative numbers, right? So in adding two negative numbers, we can ignore the signs and just add the numbers together. So because they're both the same sign, we can just say 28 plus 39, oops, 36. That makes 64. But they're both negative, so our answer has to be negative. Since both signs are negative, our answer must be negative. Negative 64. Now, in the next example, right here, 39 plus a negative 56, well, that's a little bit different. When we have a, a positive and a negative, we first ignore the signs and subtract the smaller from the larger. It doesn't matter what's what. If the signs are different, we just subtract the smaller one from the larger. Then we look at the original problem and we ask ourselves which one has the bigger sign, or I'm sorry, which number is bigger and what is its sign? Well, 56 is bigger and its sign is negative. So that makes our answer negative. Now remember, this only works on addition. This is only for addition, this technique. So again, here's another quick example. What are, what are our rules? Well, let's look at the first problem. We got a negative 31 plus a negative 38. The signs are the same. They're both negative. So we ignore the signs and add the numbers. 31 plus 38, that makes 69. Then we have to make the answer the same sign as both of the original numbers. So that means we have to make it negative. So the answer to this one, negative 31 plus negative 38, is negative 69.